This thing called you by Ernest Holmes. This is what it says. Divine guidance is yours for the asking. The answer to any problem which can ever confront you already exists at the center of your being. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Let me read that again. Hear me, all you worry warts and control freaks. The answer to any problem which can ever confront you already exists at the center of your being. It is not merely, it is not enough merely to know that divine guidance exists. You must use it. You must use it by consciously recognizing its source within yourself and by deliberately calling upon it and expecting it to answer. In order that you may not receive false impressions, you can test the thoughts that come to you. For instance, if you receive subconscious impressions having the slightest element of destructiveness in them, you must know they do not emanate from divine source. Life is not the author of confusion, but peace. If you wish to be certain that the impressions that come to you are from spirit, analyze them and see if they are the nature of goodness and peace, which the spirit must be. God never sets one man's opinion against that of another. Hear me. God, being love, never wills hate or destruction. God, being peace, never ordains confusion. When a problem confronts you, take it into the silence of your consciousness. Instead of thinking of the problem, think of the answer. God does not have problems. Therefore, divine mind is the answer to every human problem. Principles never have problems, spiritual principles. Problems are solved by bringing them under the control of principle. The problem is dissolved as the principle flows through it to the correct answer. What's a principle? Peace, joy love, compassion, and choice, integrity. These are principles, all right? Having act, mentally act and think as though the problem were an argument trying to convince you that it does, that you don't know the answer. Hear me? Mentally act and think as though the problem were only an argument trying to convince you that you don't know the answer. It is your business to neutralize the argument, taking it apart thought by thought until there is nothing left, until you reach the realization that it dissipates. This law is the principle that you are to use. Your faith causes it to act upon faith, to bring the experience of all things good. All you need be sure of is that the law, divine law, is never used for destructive purposes. All right? This thing called you, Ernest Holmes. Deep bow below us. Deep, deep. I'll see you next week.